Hi old people, <clears throat> I just thought I'd do a video today uh, showing a Protector SL Miner's Lamp, uh, commonly known as a workman's lamp. It's um, It has um, no flint igniter inside but it does have uh, a piece of wire that ignites a flame in the lamp room. So let me just strip this down and I'll show you a bit more. So like normal uh, modern SL lamps, these just strip down really easy. So you take the fuel cell off, you know, you've got your sliding wires here that just slides down and the bonnet comes off. And as usual, you've got the two gauzes outer, inner, and you've got your glass with your washers. So, let's see, right, and here we are. So, if you can just see there, there's a piece of wire there. And um, the original wires are platinum wires. Um, but platinum's really expensive now. So a lot of people, including myself, are buying stuff called, um, it's camphor wire, uh, 24 gauge, and I got it on eBay, it's not expensive, it's what they use in vapes and whatnot. So it's quite a common thing to do, to use and it works really well with a lithium battery. And I've got a rather um, makeshift battery connection with wires. Uh, but I'll show you how the, how the lamp lights in a little bit. So, you light this when it's assembled by, you touch one wire onto the glass plate there and underneath it's like a big uh, Bakelite washer it insulates it from the rest of the lamp. See, so that when you touch a wire there and touch the wire on the side of the lamp, it makes a circuit and it makes that wire glow hot and it ignites a, the uh, wick. So yeah, so it's a really common lamp. It was used by workmen. Um, mine officials usually had a relighter lamp um, in, in, you know, post uh, nationalization 1947 onwards and whatnot um i think there was a, a regulation about how how many miners per flame safety lamp or fire damp detector um so a lot of workmen carried these and they got paid money to carry them as well so let's just put this back together and i'll quickly show you how it lights so that's uh, let's put the top back on now this, this SL lamp is a little bit different in that um, it's got a middle layer shut off ring. So you can just see under there the, the vent holes that are there and, it, and it's got a, a middle layer shut off ring. And the purpose of the middle layer shut off ring is to, um, when testing for gas, if you're testing for gas at roof level, i.e. there, you want the air samples to be drawn in at the top. And into the flame so the uh, miner would close the um, shut off ring to shut position and then he'd read the gas cap and then when finished when finished reading the gas cap he'd just open that ring up again and then the air would go in normally under there and around the glass down to the flame so let's just put this uh, fuel cell on there we are so this this piece of wire that it hangs over the over the wick a little bit. So I just need to expose the wick, and then when I touch the two parts, it should ignite the flame. So obviously the wick is giving off uh, fuel vapor. So here we are. Let's give it a try. Let's get that nice and nice. You'll see it glow in a sec. There. Did you hear that pop then? That is how easy that lamp lights. So that should just keep burning now. And that is the SL lamp. As I said, it was carried by workmen. And uh, it was so that the workmen had a, 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 a way of testing for gas when the deputy wasn't about. So thank you for watching. Hopefully there'll be another video soon.